Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David N. Ark. Today we're going to be taking a look at the T75 trailer mod. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I've seen several folks posting some questions about it, wondering how does it work, how do you operate it, what do you do with it. So first and foremost, once you get the mod and you have it installed and you hook it up to your trailer, to, to your truck, you can use the T key to raise and lower that top level, and you can use the Y key to raise or, or to uh, extend or retract the ramp. So I pushed T, lowered that top part down, pushed Y in order to get that ramp out, and that allows me to take a vehicle and park it on that upper level. So one thing I definitely recommend is once you get it put up there, hit the P key in order to put the parking brake on. Then you're going to use tab to cycle through the different vehicles. And in this case, we'll go ahead and we will put the bastion up top as well. So we will cruise up here. And again, once you kind of get it in place, you want to hit that P key in order to set the parking brake. Now, you'll have to tab around again back to the trailer. And when you press T, then it is going to raise that upper level. But remember, we still have the ramp extended because we still got another vehicle we want to put on here. So we're going to grab the bolide here and we are going to put this on the lower level. So let's go up here. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Uh, perhaps I should have put this on the upper level. All right. Let's see. Maybe we just got to get a little get a little speed here. Oh, without wrecking the poor dude's car. There we go. There it is. All right. So just needed a little oomph. We're good to go. Once again, once you get it in place, set the parking brake. Now you want to make sure that after you've got everything loaded up, tab back around to the trailer and hit Y in order to bring that ramp back into, uh, you want to retract that ramp. Once that's all done, you want to cycle back through until you find the truck. And once you've got the truck selected, man, you just put the pedal to the metal. Well, I don't recommend putting the pedal to the metal. <laughs> Ease it on out and cruise on down the road. So I tell you what, we're going to take these vehicles down to the dealership. And I am definitely not in a position to turn at this point. So we're trying to get to the bottom of the hill there. Uh, I think... I think uh, we'll just uh, make the next turn, and then that should get us close to the dealership. If I remember, you'd think I'd have this map memorized, but uh, alas, I do not. So that's uh, going to be a little bit of a whoa problem. Ooh, swinging out, but hey, we're doing okay. We're, we're, we're maintaining here. We're doing all right. So, all right. Uh, that's not where I thought we were going and I'm certainly not taking this into the parking garage so uh, let's uh, hang a right here this is gonna take a little finagling let's see if I can just kind of aim this out oh a little bit of a curb check there but at least we didn't hit the tree right that's always a plus so then we will cruise up through here this is really not at all where I thought we were gonna be um, okay uh, let's go down here whoop 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 not paying attention there we go and we're gonna cut this corner a little bit that's probably sharper than it needs to be let's not hit the fire hydrant that wouldn't be good there we go all right as we approach the intersection hey we've got a green light bonus bonus points for green lights let's see <laughs> Let's see what we get here. Oh, look at there. The light's changing as we speak, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and uh, we're just going to pull up into this uh, service bay area. Oh, I cut that out. Whoa, a little close. Got a little tilt going on there, but we are okay. So now when you're ready to unload the trailer, you essentially take the opposite uh, maneuvers right so you kind of undo everything you just did so the first thing that you want to do of course is make sure that you tab to the trailer press Y to extend that ramp down there now we're going to start with the bottom car 
So uh, we're going to back up. Oh, well, <coughs> remember to take the parking brake off. And then we're going to back up here. Come on down. Oops, I turned in the wrong way. And let's ooh, gra grab a little pavement. We'll get this bad boy parked up here between the lines. All right, well. You know what? I'm not a professional car parker, so there you go. All right. Once you've got the first vehicle unloaded, then you can just tab around back to the trailer because now at this point, you want to hit T in order to lower that top portion down. And now you're going to have to tab back around to the next vehicle that you're going to unload. Remember, unset the parking brake and ease her back off of the trailer. There we go. <laughs> and once again, let's leave some marks on the pavement. Uh, that's If this were real life, that's exactly what would be happening to me. Because there's so much power under the hood of the three cars I picked. I would be leaving skid marks everywhere, man. All right, so. Let's get... Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, let's not fall off the trailer. All right, so here we go with the Burnside Custom... We will pull around here and park this bad boy in its spot. Look at there. Look at that. Isn't that that's gorgeous? It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, so after you've got all of the vehicles unloaded, you want to go back to the trailer and you want to. Um, hang on. Well, I'm, all right, so we're going to raise up that top part. I'm trying to zoom out. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, again, that was T to raise it up, Y to, to retract that ramp. Although, actually, we don't have any vehicles. So traditionally, or what I've seen anyway, um, is that the tractor trailers will actually lower that top portion if they're not carrying any vehicles. So we will back out here. And let's see if we can't get ourselves lined up to head out on the road get out of Dodge there it is thanks for your business enjoy the cars so there you go the T75 trailer and I'll have a link to the mod uh, it is not in the BeamNG repository there is one that you can download but it does not work I tried all kinds of different places to put the files and what have you. I never could get it to work. This one is coming from Modland and obviously does work. So thanks to the folks over at Modland for getting that one all fixed up. I'll have a link to that down in the description below. Got any other questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, and Los Wilco for supporting me on Patreon. And thanks to Connie C for being a channel member. Guys, I appreciate that so, so much. And I appreciate you for coming by, checking out the video. Hope you learned how to do the T75 car carrier trailer hope it helps helps with your gameplay helps with your role play all that kind of good stuff hey i'm david in arc thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time have a great day